Hey everyone, I'm Mark Jackson, the travel expert here at Brad Seals. I know we've had a crazy year at home and are itching to get trip planning again. This video is meant to answer a lot of questions you may have about traveling when you feel comfortable to do so. As a lot of things have changed in the past year. We're gonna talk about when safe travel will resume, what it's like to travel right now, what travel deals are available, and will cruising happen again in 2021? First things first, travel does increase your risk of contracting coronavirus. The CDC is still recommending travelers stay at home and avoid non-essential travel. Travel has certainly been frowned upon since the pandemic began, but everyone's personal situation is different. And my goal is to give you the best recommendations if you do choose to travel. Even if you're already vaccinated, you may not feel totally comfortable traveling like you used to yet, and that's okay. Many destinations haven't fully reopened or reopened at all, and sticking to travel close to home may be your best bet. Road trips have become the must-do during the pandemic for those itching to get out of their homes, and outdoor trips to places like national parks have provided a safe option for families. It's clear based on traveler interest on Brad's deals that summer travel will be a thing. One major annoyance for trip planners since last March have been constantly changing quarantine rules, new lockdowns, and more. I don't think much of this will occur this summer. Even the most shut down of locations like California are reopening. Disneyland is reopening April 30th, for example. Domestic travel will be your safest option though, as international travel is still up in the air for summer. For instance, we don't know if much of Europe will reopen to American travelers yet, and the fresh lockdowns happening in places like France right now, I'm not too hopeful. If you're waiting until the end of the pandemic to travel, which, fingers crossed, will be towards the end of this year, great. You're following government guidance and staying safe. Domestic travel will be your best bet, followed closely by international travel into the fall. If you choose to travel soon, things are gonna look a lot different than before the pandemic. For one, masks are federally mandated for interstate travel and all international airlines are requiring them in some capacity. So you'll need to wear a mask in the airport, during boarding and on your flight. One nice change to the travel experience is an embrace of all things mobile. You'll be able to do a lot more with your phone than before, like adjust flights, order airport food, and more. Keep in mind that at the airport, many services have reduced hours, like airport lounges, restaurants, and shops. In the air, budget cuts and physical distancing policies have seen airlines cut back on in-flight service. We're starting to see a return of some service in economy, but it's safe to assume that you may not be offered any food at all while you fly. At your destination, Ubers and Lyfts are both requiring masks and reducing the capacity of the car that you can order. Hotels have cut back their services and furloughed many of their staff members, so please be patient when you're checking in. Better yet, utilize mobile check-in if your hotel offers it, most of the big chains do, which will allow you to skip the front desk and go straight to your room. Attractions may also have reduced hours. For example, Walt Disney World is adjusting park hours based on demand. You may see times adjusted last minute for your attraction of choice. If traveling internationally, you'll likely need a coronavirus test before arriving. The noted exception is Mexico, which doesn't require one for incoming passengers. To get back into the United States, however, a negative antigen or PCR test is required, which many popular resorts in the Caribbean and Mexico are providing free for travelers. Check with your hotel for details. Travel has been a lot cheaper since the pandemic began because demand dropped to near 0% at some points. We're continuing to see a rebound in air travel, with over a million passengers traveling by air each day, though still far below 2019 levels. My biggest advice for those looking for a deal is not to wait. Nearly all airlines, hotels, and destinations are offering more flexible cancellation policies. If something changes that makes your trip a no-go, it's easy to change dates or receive a credit, even a full refund in some cases. While demand is lower for leisure trips now more than ever, this summer and fall will see a big return to traveling. It's been a year since most people have taken a real vacation, and with that demand comes higher prices. Flights to fun destinations like Orlando, Cancun, and the Bahamas will be priced at a premium. Destinations that relied on business travel will likely remain historically cheaper. For hotels, the same advice remains. Leisure-focused hotels and resorts in great destinations will be very popular and in demand, resulting in higher prices. One exception, in my opinion, will be Las Vegas. Rental cars have been very popular throughout the pandemic as it's a safer, socially distanced way to travel versus air travel. This will continue throughout the rest of the year and into 2021. For all the best deals in travel, visit bradseals.com travel. One of the most popular types of trips our readers have historically booked on Brad's deals have been cruises. If you're an avid cruiser, you know that sailings have been halted since March 2020 from the US 
and for good reason. Cruise ship outbreaks were some of the first COVID super spreader events. Now with vaccinations making it possible to cruise safely again, we're seeing a small bit of optimism that cruising will return to the U.S. in 2021. If you are itching to cruise this summer, your options are limited but possible. Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, and Crystal Cruises are bringing sailings in the Caribbean this summer, but leaving from foreign ports. You'll have to fly to places like the Bahamas or St. Martin to board, but each of these destinations are open to Americans. If you're waiting on the CDC to approve sailings again from U.S. ports, book your cruise now. Sailings are incredibly cheap for later in 2021 and into 2022. That's all I have for you today. Like and comment below if you have any travel questions, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more travel advice in the future.